Just things that feel, at first, ordinary, so dim and unnoticeable that you almost ignore them. But then the world's shape twists, revealing that you're looking at something no one should ever see. Just now, an interstellar object completed the unthinkable. The entity known as 3 i Atlas, once cataloged as a mere comet, has emitted a narrow light beam directly at Earth. Scientists are no longer whispering theories of ice and dust. Their faces have gone pale. The data is not random. It doesn't make sense. It's deliberate. And the question has shifted. What does it mean? Or worse, why? Is it observing us? This isn't a story you'll want to miss. Subscribe now. Stay with this mystery that's growing because what you're about to learn could be the beginning of a much larger work than we've ever imagined. It began the way numerous cosmic tales do, as a point of dim light drifting across the vast, indifferent canvas of the stars. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas Telescope Network saw a new, slicing object moving silently across the heavens. It was faint, forgettable, a mere tremor in the night sky. At first glance, nothing about it raised concern. But as data streamed in and orbital models were run through the algorithms, anxiety began to rise. This object was not looping gracefully around the sun like planets or comets. It was on an unbound path, a hyperbolic trajectory. A visitor from the void. It had entered our neighborhood from deep interstellar space, here for a single brief pass before vanishing completely. They named it 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever seen by humans. However, the name was merely a label. The thing itself was stranger than numbers could hold. The first classifications were muddled. Was it a comet? An asteroid? A wandering shard of alien remains? It glowed faintly, but not in any way astronomers were familiar with. There were indications of a dispersed fog a coma, the hazy shroud that forms when sunlight boils ice off a comet's surface. However, the behavior was wrong. The brightness flickered inconsistently. The light bent strangely, as though following its own physics. And worst of all, there was no obvious tail. Comets always trail their history behind them, gas and dust streaming away from the sun's reach. 3i Atlas refused to obey. Teams all over the world swiveled their instruments toward it. Radiometers, spectrometers, high-powered optics, everything capable of grasping its mystery. And still, the questions multiplied. As it approached, anomalies within the solar system did too. Its spectrum showed a reddish hue that suggested organic material, but none of the specifics matched any known comet signature. Its gas emissions looked superficially normal, carbon dioxide, water, other volatiles, but their ratios were utterly wrong off by orders of magnitude. It was unclassifiable. Even stranger, the path it took was unsettlingly precise. Most interstellar objects plunge in from awkward angles, tumbling unpredictably through the plane of our planet. This one aligned itself perfectly with the solar system's thin, flat disk, the ecliptic our worlds travel along, hitting that plane by odds equivalent to threading a needle across years of space. A single astronomer murmured under her breath. It's flying like it knows where it's going. In labs quietly across the globe, that remark echoed, deliberate. By August, it was clear that 3i Atlas would make its closest pass near Earth in late September. But as that moment approached, something happened, something no comet, asteroid, or cosmic rock had ever done. It produced a light that ought not to exist. Not a glow, not a reflection, a beam. The first reports came from amateurs idly watching the sky. Then professionals confirmed it. On the evening of September 26th, numerous observatories captured the impossible. A luminous structure extending from 3i Atlas, not aimed away from the sun, but directly at Earth. It was initially dismissed as an optical illusion or an instrument failure. But then came more images, from different continents, different perspectives. The truth solidified, focused, projecting light from the object, a sustained beam, not scattered, not diffused, narrow, bright, deliberate, like a cosmic spotlight spanning millions of kilometers aimed unambiguously at our world. 
Every physics textbook insists comets' tails point away from the sun, pushed outward by solar wind and radiation pressure. This one broke the rule. The opposite was true here, the light faced its source, not fleeing from it. Hubble, infrared telescopes, and radar stations all confirmed the beam's reality. It didn't have a tail. It wasn't sunlight. It remained steady and shaped like a broadcast. Polarization date a hinted at internal structure, not random scattering. Its brightness did not vary with rotation or solar angles. This was not by chance. This was something under control. Was it a warning? A scanner? A device that mapped the Earth's fields? Electromagnetic observatories soon detected subtle ripples, faint but persistent minute radio disturbances, noise, microwave background shifts, even localized tremors in our magnetic field that coincided with the beam's activation. The repercussions were staggering. A warning. A message. A trigger. Scientists whispered the unthinkable. 3 i Atlas was no mere comet. It was doing something, and Earth was at the center of its attention. For decades, comets have been predictable in their beauty. As they near the sun, ice sublimates, gases vent, and the object blooms in light, a graceful, slow unfolding. But 3 I shredded that script. Instead of a smooth increase in brightness, its light output surged violently, and sometimes in a single night, these weren't flickers, they were leaps, surges of magnitude so extreme that instruments struggled to keep up. It suddenly shone with blinding light, and then, without warning, dimmed again, not in days, but in hours. Nothing in nature acts in this way. Thermal heating doesn't flip on and off like a switch. No known cometary material produces such rapid transitions. Even stranger, the illumination seemed to come from the object itself, not from the cloud around it. Self-directed. Localized. Focused. Furthermore, as Earth drew closer to its trajectory, the bursts became more intense. Was it in response to our nearness, charging up for something? Or was the timing an unbearable coincidence? Mathematicians trying to plot its light curve were left with jagged chaos, a graph more like a seismic event than a celestial one. One astrophysicist summed it up grimly. Greater than, we are not observing a natural reaction to heat from the sun. We're watching something behave as if it's following a script. Color merged with the mystery next. Initially, 3i had the color of carbonaceous compounds, a reddish hue, routine and an interesting. Then, abruptly, it turned green. Not gradually, as required by chemical processes, instantly, like a light switch flipped from one mode to another. Cyanogen. Diatomic carbon. Despite their ability to glow green, these compounds do so slowly, predictably, as sunlight excites them. This was different. This was unmistakable. Scientists begin announcing new comparisons, not chemistry, but machinery. Systems changing states of operation. Aircraft lights communicate modes. Machines blink indicators. Was 3i cycling through functions? Scanning, transmitting, preparing. Spectroscopic readings confirmed the nightmare. Its chemical profile didn't match any known pattern. Exotic emissions. Gas ratios alien to natural occurrences. And during its green phase, the beam toward Earth strengthened. It's not just glowing green, one chemist said. It's doing something while it's green. Its composition was no less impossible. When the James Webb Space Telescope examined it, the fingerprint made no sense. Carbon accounted for 85% of its gas emissions, carbon monoxide, then dioxide. Water, the lifeblood of comets, was barely noticeable at all. This was backwards, like an upside-down comet. Then came the detail that made even veteran astrochemists fall silent, nickel without iron. In nature, those two elements are twins, born together in the same glowing furnaces. But here, nickel stood alone. How does something form that breaks the rules of chemistry? Perhaps it doesn't form. Perhaps it's built. The gases that came out of it did not rise with heat or distance from the sun. They appeared to adhere to a schedule rather than a reaction. Add to that the stable emissions, the localized gas releases, the absence of anticipated side effects, and what emerged was not natural outgassing but deliberate results. Coolant. 
fuel, chemical compounds designed to interact with planetary fields. No one could say for sure, but everyone understood this wasn't how things are made in the universe. This was how someone makes things.